people. I'm Ginny Metherill. I'm a fourth generation witch. I have been practicing traditional and the old ways of witchcraft all my life. Today's video is a little bit of a personal journey video for me because we're going to deal with the subject of addiction. Now addiction comes in many, many forms. You can be addicted to drugs and alcohol. Likewise, you could be addicted to washing your hands, turning the light switch on and off, tapping. I know quite a few people who are addicted to tapping. Drives me insane, but obviously you can't say anything because this is a mental condition. Now, the trouble with giving up anything, whatever you are addicted to or have habitual habits for, is that you need willpower. Now, willpower is incredibly difficult to come by. I know I have been a smoker since I was 16 years old. As my father says, I'm extremely good at giving up. I've given up about nine times. So this video is all about cracking addiction and breaking habits using the power of witchcraft. because it's now been four months since I first worked this spell. And therefore I consider it to be on the road to success. Not quite success yet, because I think I've got to get to six, nine months, but you know, four months is pretty good. This spell can be used not just for giving up smoking, but any bad habit, such as maybe obsessively washing your hands. Every time you wanna wash your hands, you hold the amulet. The video is done in the form of a diary and we start on the 30th of November last year when I think I might have had a little too much to drink over the weekend. Not that we're dealing with that because I don't drink that much, it was just I was overcome with the power of lockdown. I hope you enjoy it and I hope it is of some use to you. Oh, hi, it is a few days after lockdown's finished and we've been allowed to see people and I spent the weekend with some of my best friends ever who I love and adore but I might have overindulged just a tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little bit but most uh, aggravatingly is that I have realised that I have taken up smoking again full time I now am a smoker. I'm not even a part-time smoker or a social smoker. I'm a full-time smoker and I hate it. So I thought we'd do a spell by a great warlock called James Harker who gave this to me and it involves making a talisman or amulet for you to use when the urge comes upon you. The purpose of this spell is to distract the mind or turn the mind from thoughts of cigarettes and what we're going to do is put a vast amount of energy into a talisman and then every time I feel the urge I just need to hold the talisman and withdraw a tiny bit of that energy and that energy should distract my mind and turn it from thoughts of fags. Fags and booze honestly it's a really bad way to do these things isn't it? I thought I'd keep a diary to show you and we'd have a look in another two or three months to see how my non-smoking habit is going to come on. The first thing that you need to know with this spell is that you must not smoke for 24 hours. You need to purge your body of all fags. So the talisman that I'm going to use is made of natural material and it doesn't matter what your talisman is, but it has to be natural material. By that I mean not plastic or not a man-made construct. Although porcelain, ceramics, because that's from the earth, is fine and that's natural materials that have been heated. Um, but, so I'm using this. This is the scarab beetle that I bought in, well, I bought it in Egypt about 40 years ago. And it's made of natural fiber and that's the only thing you need to worry about. You can have a talisman as anything, but it must be made of natural fibre. I've got some examples here. So I have a piece of rose quartz. That would work very well. I have a piece of jade here, which is a pendant in a heart. That would work very well. 
I have one of my lovely Hagstones. That would also work extremely well. And I have a fossilised, this is a fossilised um, shell. That would work extremely well. Anything that would resonate with you that is a natural fibre. Right, let's get back to the spell. I'm going to use some carnelians, which is carnelian stones, to set out my circle and my pentacle within the circle. I'm going to use the wand, which is a piece of goldstone. This wand suits me, so this is the wand that I like to use. It is actually a piece of man-made glass, but it works well for me, so that's why I like it. And obviously I have a pendulum, which I will use to see when the scarab beetle is sufficiently charged with the energy. The first thing to do is to lay out a circle. I'm just going to do it with my selection of stones, which are cornelians. Compsa. If you can see, I've put the stones in a circle. Very circular. Now, I'm going to take this wand, which is a piece of goldstone, and use it to draw the circle and to draw a pentagram within the circle. So I am going to stand in a pentacle, which is a circle surrounding a pentagram, drawn with my wand. So, I'll show you. This is me casting the circle. And then I'll cast the pentagram. Start at the top, move to this one, cross to that one, cross to this one, cross back to that one, cross up to the top. So now I've put a pentagram in this area here. I'm going to sit in my circle, taking my scarab, and I'm going to hold it and inject it with all the energy. So what is actually happening here is that I am pulling in energy from all around. Now I'm pulling it in from the ground, from the flora and fauna, so plants, etc. I'm asking them to interject this energy into the talisman. I have already asked my spirit guides to help and I've asked any other entities that may be around, because there's quite a lot of fae who live around me, whether they would help with this spell. The way you do that is you say, please could you put some energy, if it would be so kind of you, into this talisman and then imagine drawing that energy out of the ground and the trees and the flowers and the earth and it coming into the talisman. So it was interesting this part because I thought that this part of the spell was about 15 minutes long and then reviewing the footage I find that it's actually only a you know, a few seconds, literally. So let's carry on. Then ask your pendulum, or if you feel, might take a bit of time this, ask your pendulum. Has the scarab been filled with all the energy I need? And that is my yes response, so yes it has. My scarab beetle is now sufficiently charged and I'm going to place it into the room that I have my most smoking urges, which is the sitting room, which is where I have a glass of wine in front of the TV at night maybe, and that's when I feel like having a cigarette or if I'm wandering around and it's quite stressful, I'll walk into the sitting room and sit down and then I'll feel the urge to have a fag. So I'm going to leave it in that room. And when the urge becomes really strong, I'm going to take the scarab and hold it in my hands and I'm going to withdraw a tiny bit of the energy we have just put into it. So I'll check back in a couple of days. We'll see how I get on. So quick update then. It is day three, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, day three of giving up smoking. And so far I have had to hold the charm that I made, the scarab, twice in my hands and take a little bit of its energy out. And I have to say, it did work. I mean, this could be a lot of mind over matter, but the proof will be in the days to come 
because I find the early days of giving up smoking always slightly easier than the later ones. It's when you go out with your friends and everyone else smoking and they're drinking and you'd like a cigarette and a gin and tonic, but uh, you just have to have the gin. So we'll see. Yes, we'll see. But so far, it's okay. So it's been several weeks now since I made the amulet and I still haven't had a cigarette, so that's good. I use the amulet every three to four days, I'd say. Actually, I haven't used it for about five days, so my periods between use are getting longer, which is great, that's what we're looking for. It is a strange sensation, or well, slightly weird when you use it. So you pick up the amulet, you extract some of the energy from it, and then you immediately, your brain, having been thinking, oh, I really want a cigarette, I really want a cigarette, I really want a cigarette, thinks, I must go down and drop my post off, or I've got that washing to do, or literally anything. It suddenly just stops thinking about cigarettes. You don't even notice that you're thinking about something else. I don't notice that my brain just switches. And I go on to think literally almost instantaneously. I shouldn't be surprised that this spell actually works, because my spells always do. Um, I haven't had one yet that's failed. Uh, well, not for me, anyway. I mean, maybe for other people. I don't know. Uh, so, we shall see. It's all good stuff at the moment, so I am currently still a non-smoker. So don't wear your amulet all the time, unless you're out and you need it for that extra help. And make sure that you remember. That is the trickiest part of this spell, is remembering when you have the urge, not to sit there using your willpower, but to think, OK, go and get my amulet take some of the energy. If you are going to use this spell, I would love to know what you're going to use it on in your comments below. This spell is not just for the serious addictions such as smoking, drink, alcohol, etc. It's also for the smaller bad habits in your life. And so I've got plenty of bad habits like biting my nails. Maybe I'd use it for that. A quick reminder that uh, April's Coven meeting is coming up soon. So do go to patreon.com forward slash Ginny Metherill for details. I'm very, very cheap. I start at two pounds a month, which does help support me doing this because otherwise we would starve. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, do give me a like and a subscribe and I'll see you 